Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Concept Clear. In today's class, we will discuss about HMAC in the subject of cryptography network security. What is HMAC? HMAC is nothing but hash based message authentication code. It, has, it is a SHA function such as SHA algorithm, secure hash algorithm, but it is designed for MAC. Okay. It is similar to SHA algorithm, but it is designed for MAC uh, message, message authentication code. It is used for directly for the purpose of because it is not really the secret key. Okay, it is a similar as the hash SHA algorithm, but it is not purpose of the uh, directly sending the secret key. Okay, and it is a symmetric key algorithm. You know what is meaning of symmetric key? Symmetric key is nothing but here for encryption, we will use a same key single secret key the same key will use for the uh, decryption also that that is called secret key algorithm so it has a shared key whatever the key we are using sender side the same key will be used for receiver side also the shared key will be available and hmac is used for data integrity and authentication what is meaning of data integrity data integrity is nothing but a no modification while data is transferring between sender to receiver the data should not be modified Okay, that is called data integrity maintaining the no without modification that is called in data integrity and what is meaning of authentication authentication is nothing but verifying the user with uh, user id or password like that okay if you have to verify the user he is the original uh, reliable user or not that is called authentication hmac uses symmetric key and signatures symmetric key and Signatures uses an asymmetric key. Okay, see here, this is the block diagram for uh, HMAC algorithm. HMAC uh, hash, hash based message authentication code. Here, this is the sender. Sender sending a message. Here, there is a. Here, in this place, HMAC, in this way, it will create the MAC, MAC code. It will create the generate. It is the generator. It will generate the MAC. It will create the MAC code. With the help of the a secret key, with the help of the secret key, the plain text message will be generated as the MAC code in this block. And after that, after that, the MAC code will be transferred from sender side to receiver side. Here, after in after generation of the MAC code, the message contains message plus MAC code that will be transferred that will send the over the network to the receiver side. Receiver side again here with the help of the same secret key, it will verify the MAC code, and the MAC code will be Again, it will be connected as a message, and that message will be displayed to the receiver side. Okay, here the same key is used for MAC code generation and verifying the MAC code. Okay, MAC code creation key and as well as the MAC code verification key will be the same key. Okay, here sender sending a plain text message, and the with the help of the secret key, the MAC message will be created as a MAC code will be created after that. Message plus MAC code will be delivered over the network to the receiver side. Again, here MAC code will be verified with the same key, and later the message will be displayed on the receiver side. Okay, here HMAC is nothing but HMAC is nothing but hash function. HMAC is nothing but HMAC, HMAC means hash function of secret key plus message. Here we are using MAC code means MAC code means what? Message plus MAC code that is called hash function. Okay. <coughs> HMAC, HMAC is the more secure than MAC code. Message message authentication code is sorry, it is the it provides the less pro, less security and HMAC will provide the more security because here key and message are hashed separate in separate steps. Okay, here by using HMAC algorithm, we can provide the more security. Okay, if you have any doubts, please ask me about the HMAC function. Okay, thank you. Na channel per gurtundi ga please like share and subscribe